Caroline Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Why Are Scientists Interested in Comet Eson? So Comet Eson uh, is kind of a sad story. Uh, it had a period of 400,000 years, meaning that it hasn't interacted with much. And Comet Eson was like a great opportunity to look at the primordial, primordial gases from the beginning of the solar system. Since it's been around for 4.6 billion years, and it had a lot of content of the, you know, if comets are bringing the building blocks of life, if it had uh, gases enough like to bring water into the planets, it had a lot of um, information of the beginning of the solar system and this was going to be a pretty big chance for us to look at primordial gases. So it was supposed to get really close to the sun we saw it first in 2012, and we saw that it had about a six-mile nucleus. And it was supposed to get 800,000 miles away from the sun. Now what happened here is that we were supposed to see it in October 2013, November 2013. And it just did not survive that close encounter with the sun is sort of just disintegrated into pieces and right now we're just looking kind of for the remains of the comet and this was kind of a great opportunity for us to see something really bright something really close and uh, it just didn't happen and just we're just still looking for the remains we don't really know where they've gone and that's something like an active hunt right now my name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Why Are We Interested in Comet Eson? Mm -hmm.